Hello all and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to introduce myself and motive of creating this channel. I am also going to explain you why and how this channel is going to help you. So before discussing more about this channel and motive of this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Chandramani Pandey and I am an Indian. By profession, I am an SCCM and Intune Administrator. I started working in Microsoft SCCM technology from SCCM version 2007, then moved to SCCM 2012, then SCCM current branch, then Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Now we call it as a Microsoft Endpoint Manager, also known as MEM. In Intune, I started working from Microsoft Intune SQLite portal and moved to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center portal. Hope this gives you a little bit background about me. Coming to the motive of creating this channel, this channel is primarily going to focus on device management using Microsoft Intune and its related stuff. Where I'm trying to explain and demonstrate you the concept in simple way. The, this playlist is mainly focusing on below modules. Each module consists of multiple sub modules. In module Intune introduction and lab setup, we will be discussing about device management, what is Intune, Intune deployment scenarios, Intune architecture, Intune stuff, Intune setup and console overview, etc. In enrollment module, we will be discussing about what is enrollment in Intune, types of enrollment in Intune, prerequisites, backend flow of enrollments. In Windows Autopilot module, we will be discussing about what is Autopilot, prerequisite of Autopilot, backend uh, flow of Autopilot, types of Autopilot, hybrid versus Azure ready, join Autopilot, what is ASP, what is deployment profile, types of deployment profile, what is hardware hash, how you can extract the hardware hash, demo and troubleshootings. In endpoint analytics module, we will be discussing about what is endpoint analytics, what is the prerequisite of endpoint analytics, what is product recommendation and use case, demo and troubleshootings. In application management module, we will be discussing about what is application management, why we need this, how many ways we can create an application, what is in Win32 Win application, what is the backend flow, how you can deploy application, how you can troubleshoot application, how many ways you can create an application, how to convert an MSIO EXE in Win32 format, etc. In patch management module, we will be discussing about what is patch management, why we need this in device management, what is quality update management, what is feature of grid deployment and management, what is out of band patch and management, what is the backend flow, what is the backend flow difference between quality update, feature upgrade and out of band patches, what is the prerequisite in each cases and how to deploy and what is the troubleshooting step. In reporting module, we will be discussing about types of reporting available in Intune and its use. What is organizational versus operational report? How to create a custom report? In configuration profile module, we will be discussing about what is configuration profile? How to create and use use cases? How this is different from compliance profile? How many ways you can create a configuration profile? What is CSP? What is OMA URI? What is the backend fl of, uh, flow of OMA URI? What is the registry, registry location of all these configuration profiles, demo and troubleshooting? In compliance profile, all policies, we, we will be discussing about what is configuration profile and how, we, how to create a configuration profile and its use case. In Intune automation module, I will be discussing about what is Microsoft Graph, what is application registration in Azure, how we can automate reporting in Intune using Microsoft Graph in PowerShell, and I'll I'm going to give you some demo also how to create an application registration in Intune, a very basic PowerShell script so that you can pull the reports using 
app registration as well as the graph APIs. In Intune model troubleshooting, we will be discussing about how to perform a basic to advanced level troubleshooting of application deployment, patch deployment, policy related stuff. And last but not least, in in module scenarios and possible workaround, I will be demonstrating you what are the different scenarios in which we can do what and how. So hope this gives you a little bit background about what I am trying to provide you in a upcoming videos and all. I hope this is an informative video for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.